So we're here on this beach outside of La Paz. It's a locals beach. We love it for that reason um, because there are some beaches like we've taken you to on the Bay of Conception where it's not really local, it's gringo. And so this is a locals beach, which means over the years that we've been coming here and over all the time that we've spent on this beach, when Lindsay had E. coli back in 2019, 2020, we spent, I don't know, it was four or six weeks here. Um, it was a great place to camp and we had locals come out all the time. Mexicans coming out and doing their beach thing, which is great. It's winter time here and for us it's great because we're escaping the cold. But for Mexicans, um, most Mexicans, still the water's a little too cold. They live here all year round so this, the uh, summer water is a whole lot more fun to splash around with and all that. But this beach is going off now, uh, which is great to see. People are actually enjoying it. Always have enjoyed it, but more people are out here now. Don't know if it's a COVID thing or why they're here, but the beach is crowded. It's awesome. So we have this inside joke because when you camp in Mexico, it doesn't matter where you're camping, but when you camp in Baja, at least, there's going to be Mexican music. Somebody's gonna pull up at some crazy hour of the night, maybe 10 o'clock, maybe two o'clock. They're gonna get out, they're gonna drink. They're going to play very loud music. And that very loud music is Mexican music. Those of you in the States have your favorite Mexican restaurant. You know the music we're talking about. There's a whole lot of tuba in it. And so I got used to falling asleep last time we were in Baja to the tuba. Boom, 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 boom. It's like the bass. Instead of having a bass guitar um, or a drum kit, it's the tuba. And so the joke this year, the inside joke, which I'm bringing you into, um, you can thank me for it later. You can tell all of your friends about this joke and you can try to connect me with Christopher Walken if you have known him through Six Degrees of Separation. But the idea is um, anytime I hear music now, I say more tuba, right? Like more cowbell, more tuba. Where's a tuba? Give me more tuba. And so we're, we're laughing because today a tuba actually showed up on the beach. And so it's more than just having people come up and play music, which they're doing. They've got cars and speakers and all that playing loud music, but a tuba is actually here on the beach. And it is remarkable to have a real live tuba and that bomb, 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 bomb. So I'm gonna go see if I can get some more tuba and uh, let's go see what, what, what happens. Uh, or at least let's go meet, meet the tuba man. Have you ever met the tuba man? He lives on tuba lane. That's cheesy. That's what you get, it's called Warner. <laughs> well, the tuba man was a little preoccupied with playing a tuba, but it's pretty cool that he's here. If he makes his way down the beach, I will ask for more tuba. Tuba man never uh, came back around, so we'll have more tuba tomorrow. Maybe Sunday fun day is always good at the beach. It's going to be loud and crazy and uh, we're just going to be hanging out here. There's music going on. The sun's about to set. It's a gorgeous sunset today. Uh, it's always beautiful sunsets where we are and we're just happy to be here. in the morning tuba man came back but not in the shape of an actual man playing a tuba in the shape of Mexican music next door door open loud laughing Saturday night in Mexico thank you tuba man well a tuba man went on and on and on throughout the night and woke up and Tuba Man was on the other side of the beach. Um, so not the real Tuba Man, but Tuba music. So moral of this video is Tuba Tuba everywhere Tuba. We are gonna go hike again. We said we didn't get a chance to finish um, the hike with beautiful views because everything was blown out and it was cloudy. We're gonna go hike today. We're gonna go finish that hike and get some beautiful pictures at the end. And I'm not gonna take you on the hike, but I am gonna show you what it looks like once we get to the top and the sun is shining down over Blondra, it's absolutely stunning. So let's go do that now.
Lindsay, what you doing? I'm putting makeup on. Which, like, never happens. <laughs> Why are you putting makeup on? Because it's Melissa's birthday. It is Melissa's birthday. And we're going to go out to dinner in La Paz. We're going to go out to dinner in La Paz. I did my this is hair. High end. Lindsay took a shower and she did her hair and she's doing makeup. I put on a new shirt. Oh, I, I took a shower too. Put on a new shirt. Steve, I know you're still keeping track. So, <coughs> new shirt. And uh, I put on an old hat. Go Wyoming. <coughs> We're gonna go as a as a big giant beach family, and we're gonna go enjoy dinner tonight, and uh, we'll go get barking. started as Everest is barking at our neighbor. So we have <laughs> five of us in various RVs yeah. that have become really good buddies. So Scott and Melissa and the boys and us, we knew that was gonna happen, and then we became friends with Zach, who is our friend of Joe and Lily, who's our Arizona friends. Anytime we're within a thousand miles of them, we go and say hi, we, we stop and to. see them. <laughs> so then there's also a Ukrainian family, which has been very interesting. We're not gonna say more about that, but um, prayers for them and their families because they are from Kiev. And by the time you're watching this, you probably, hopefully will have a conclusion and everything there. Um, but they become a dear part of us as well. And then we've got another couple on the end that Scott, I guess, Melissa reached out to. Yeah, they have a son the same age as their kids. Yeah. And they're ex-military, which is really cool. They're great people. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. And all the families get along well. All the kids are playing mm -hmm. well. And it's just been, it's been a lot of fun. And so it's time to celebrate one of our birthdays, which is Melissa's birthday. So we're going to go out to La Paz and get fancy because we have not been fancy in... A long time. A very long time. I don't think I've done my hair since the tour, the tiny home tour. I don't know. You did. You did TikTok videos where you put your all that. But stuff I didn't on. do my hair. Okay. <laughs> Whatever she says. So, long story short, we're gonna go out and we're gonna go see what La Paz has to offer. This may be the only time downtown, sadly, yeah. that we. Uh, I'm gonna bring the camera. Yeah. Because I'm gonna. Camera. Why not? You guys want to come along? is amazing. La Paz. We love La Paz. It's awesome, and we're hoping to get some time to walk along the Malacan before we settle down for dinner. So, we'll take you there with us, because that was just decided. <laughs> Well, dinner was awesome. It was a great time going out, having fun. I think we had 13 of us at the table, counting the kids. And uh, it's just awesome to be able to cut loose and enjoy ourselves. We've been saving a lot of money by camping here on the beach. It's free camping for us. So we just said, let's go out and have a good night. And we ate and we drank and we laughed and we shared life together. It was awesome. And we're gonna continue sharing life together because Scott has set up his projector and we're gonna go sit outside on the beach and watch a movie. It's got a little projector screen that drops down off their RV awning and projects it up there. We take our chairs and we can listen to the uh, the waves lap up against the shore while we're watching Jurassic Park. So, going to go enjoy that now and uh, we'll check in with you later. 